Uh, even though we have a superstar defender there, you can see the blocking is just, it just sets up so easily and it really just becomes all about the speed of the receiver at that point. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shots. Sniff of the Man Jesus always got another explosive rushing attack offense for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys what's been one of my favorite rushing attacks, probably going all the way back to last year. So, if you watched my channel last year, you, this might look familiar. The offense that I'm in today, one more time, will be the Pistol Offensive Playbook. I'm thinking about moving on from this. I could probably put out a full breakdown on this offense I'm going to show you guys today. I could probably put out another offensive series or two if you guys want to see more stuff out of the Pistol, if you're enjoying the Pistol. But what I would really like to do is move on to some of the other alternate playbooks. I think I get a lot of requests from the run and gun or the run and shoot. I really don't remember which one, but I could easily do something out of any of these playbooks. So if you want to see West Coast spread, run heavy, run bounds, run and shoot. If you're using any of these playbooks, if you have Woo! suggestions, let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more alternate playbooks, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Now the formation that I'm going to use today should look kind of familiar. I've put out plays from this formation in the past in a couple different playbooks. More specifically, the Ravens. The Ravens, as far as team playbooks go, the Ravens probably have the best pistol selection in the game. It's either them or the Cardinals uh, which would be another playbook that I could definitely uh, put some time into but ultimately this is the running formation I, I use it a ton in the Ravens I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the four play audibles there's really four plays maybe five that I could run out of this scheme uh, but this is the four most essential now there's really only three to be honest with you the counter lead is one of the most explosive plays in this formation that's something that I put out from the Ravens playbook the halfback slam is an important play because a lot of these plays are going to be run to the outside so the slam is going to be a play that you're going to want to have something just to go up the middle if your opponent uh, starts spraying their defense but realistically you have that in the triple option switch you have the ability to hand off right up the middle in the triple option switch so that's why i was saying it's really only three plays the third play is either going to be the zone read which is probably my favorite because you have an option play or there's actually another play uh which is pretty good if i could find it here real quick which is the halfback off tackle so i would say these two plays once again just like the slam and the triple option switch which kind of attack the same area these two plays kind of attack the same area as well uh, but they're all you know this is they're essentially the same play except the zone read has the option to keep with the quarterback which I rarely do so these are the four plays they're definitely uh, all explosive and they all attack to the outside now there's a lot of really good packages that you can come out in uh, to make this a very uh, tricky offense to defend uh, one of the best ones if you hit the package button over to the right a couple times you'll find three halfbacks for a team like the Eagles that have three pretty good halfbacks this is a really good option if you play mutton you have three good halfbacks it's a really good option you're going to want your uh your two outside running backs to probably be better receivers than anything but speed's obviously going to be key when it comes to those spots another one that i like is tight end backfield your best blocking back like dallas goddard in this spot's going to be key this is a spot that's really going to be blocking most of the time anyway if you have a fast tight end that's another really good option the best option though in my opinion is going to be wide receiver backfield now this is one of the glitchiest things you can find in this formation your third receiver will essentially be in this this spot and this is going to be very important when it comes to the pass plays that I show later in the video or when I show in the full breakdown. Now I typically like to start off with my favorite play but to be honest with you I like all these so we're just going to go ahead we're going to pick the, the zone read that's one of my more favorite we'll pick that first on the defensive side we're just going to go random play in general. Now as always this video is brought to my coin sponsor AOH.com if you guys want to get your mud team up and help support the channel at the same time all I have to do is check them out I got a link in the description below use discount code money to get three percent what's always guaranteed to be cheapest ones on the market and they also do a lot of things from other games too no matter what game you play Play, they probably offer a product more specifically games like FIFA if you play games like Rocket League which I, I also enjoy
enjoy. Uh, they have stuff for all those games. So check them out and check out their products. Link in the description below. Now, I don't really have a favorite play when it comes to these series of plays. There's three plays in particular that could all be the best play. The counter lead, the zone read, and the triple option are all great plays. I'm going to have different reads every single time when it comes to like what defense I should or what play I should choose against which particular defense. But I really wanted to show off this particular play first. This particular play, it's really going to be best against cover three, cover four. Uh, this looks like it might be a cover two, so this isn't necessarily going to be the best play. But any play where the cornerbacks drop back post snap, this particular play is going to be great. I don't know if I'll be able to get outside of Chase Young either, but that's why I have the option with the quarterback. If I want to hand it off, I hold the A button and I'll hand it off to the running back slash receiver. If this read defender here follows the handoff, I could always just keep it. You can see right here, he does not. And Quez Watkins is, you know, breaking off a big play right out the gate, mostly because he's one of the fastest players on the team. This is something that will definitely come in handy more when it comes to some of the passing plays. Hit the like button, let me know in the comments section if you guys want to see that on here. Otherwise, it'll just be on my Patreon and my Join Out community tab. But ultimately, this here is just, you know, I'm just trying to utilize this speed. Like, that really didn't set up too well. I had to kind of go wide around it. But you can see because of the speed of my player, I have no problem doing that. Now, this play here might be a little bit more difficult based on the fact that that, you know, you want to basically have your left tackle outside of the widest box defender. You don't always have that. But here we can go ahead and give this a try. Even though we have a superstar defender there, you can see the blocking is just, it just sets up so easily. And it really just becomes all about the speed of the receiver at that point. Now, don't forget though, if you run the zone read, you can always keep it with the quarterback. That's something where essentially you have to wait for this defender to, uh, to, to basically take off after the running back. You can go the opposite way and get some big runs if you have a mobile quarterback. So don't forget that. Now, the zone read can be flipped. If you don't want to run in the direction that it has, you can always flip the play and go to the side where there's maybe less uh, people in the box. Like here you have two extra guys in the box on the right side. I can go the opposite direction and there's no real penalty. You see, there's no real... Um, nothing really happened when I flipped the play. There was no motions or alignment changes at all because it's an even formation. So keep that in mind. If you get a lot of looks where you think it might benefit you, you can always flip the play and your opponent will never be the wiser. You also have a really good option to go the opposite direction in the triple option switch. Now this play has a couple good options. If you have big lanes like this, your opponent starts spreading out to try to stop the outside runs. You basically just hold the A button and just go right up the middle for what's essentially a dive. It's not as good blocking as the slam, that's why I was saying if you really want to run inside, the slam's best because you have multiple blockers. You have more blockers. These guys here uh, just kind of disappear and then the, the linebackers just kind of uh, commit where if you have like a slam in your audibles, you'll get much better blocking as they'll basically pick guys up and then you'll just basically get bigger lanes. Slam is definitely going to be a play where you get bigger opportunities inside than the triple option switch. But the triple option switch is really going to be one of the best runs to go outside. Now here, once again, we have a tightly packed box. Uh, we have our receiver still in that spot. This play is really going to be all about that receiver. Now it's going to be best if you if the if they don't commit to the to the quarterback you, you have a fast quarterback. You can always take off with the quarterback like I did there. This play to me is not a very effective inside run, but if you have a lane there, you can go with it by holding A. I still find this particular play is going to be best to basically decide if you want to make this pitch. Now here he defends inside. He crashes down the running back. Now I'm in a one on one where I basically have the quarterback or the receiver. The receiver is typically the player I want to pitch it to, but if they don't commit to the quarterback, I'm going to keep with the quarterback every single time. To me, the triple option switch was a little better in the past. Here you can see, once again, got too many guys on the right side. We're going to flip that play. We're going to do it to the tight end side. And now you can see how, once again, they don't crash immediately. I had to basically wait a second, but you can see how there's always going to be that option to pitch it out, even if you get past the line of scrimmage like I did there. So here we go once again. Like I said, I want to run to that receiver, but we have the extra box defender there. We're going to basically get this look where you know i can i can do whatever i want here i could hold that ball as long as i like and pitch it out at any point in time that it benefits me as you can see right there i was about 10 15 yards down the field before i threw it away so we'll go back to three running backs for the next one although i still have uh, my tight end in who's going to be my best blocker and we'll go and we'll pick the counter lead which is going to be one of the best plays in the uh, formation as well so let's go and let's pick random play again this is one of the few plays where you're probably going to want to have a fullback at this particular spot instead of a running back uh, because the running back there i mean he'd really didn't do much of anything to give me uh, a block but you can see it's still a very explosive play he gets in the way which is all that really matters so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see more out of this that this is part one if you guys want to see a part two or a full breakdown of this offense with some really hard to stop pass plays that are super glitchy based on the fact that i'm going to have receivers in the backfield once again hit the like button let me know in the comment section of that it'll be on my patreon on my join out community tab for the moment other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.